hello everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the important questions of automata means uh, what is the question paper pattern what all you need to study to just pass the exam and uh, what is the most probable questions which can come like in or and what you can skip and what you cannot skip that all we'll be discussing now okay and uh, this is just the uh, discussion video so you'll have in the link uh, the description box the uh, references from where you will see the actual solution okay so this is just the exam paper pattern okay so uh, if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so let's get started we have uh, the five modules I'm, i've written the topics here so what i have written is like uh, in each of the module which is the compulsory topic and which is the like topic which is most probably gonna come in or okay so uh, this is the this is based on the previous year patterns okay like i have what i observed in the previous year papers and the model question paper that i have written here okay it might change also i cannot guarantee that okay so um dfsm you need to know okay like if you know how to make dfsm for the given questions i'll i have given some questions in the um, uh, module so i will be discussing that so those were the most repeated ones so make sure you solve that and uh, get a basic idea of how to solve the dfsm if you just want to pass i'll tell you which all modules uh, you need to uh, study in the module five, you can easily do it okay because definitions are there some of the definitions like classes of p and np recursive just a few lines of definitions okay that you have to memorize after that uh, either memorize quantum uh, computing and uh, just during thesis or do pcp and halting problem okay so they might become like an or with these both so you can go with any of these okay and uh, that's about the module for easily you can do so you can score 20 marks on that okay and coming to the next uh, easiest module that is the module 4 here are some theorems okay the theorems and some theory questions that also you can memorize very easily and uh, there are turing machine questions okay turing machine total there are like uh, eight questions but uh, from among eight like uh, three or four only are most repeated ones okay so if you know the basic idea of how to solve the turing machine watch uh, the uh, my explanation on that how to solve the turing machine i have explained in very depth solve uh, solve it on your own two or three times and get uh, keep that in your mind okay so most probably they are gonna give like from three or three or four uh, those repeated questions itself because it it has been repeated many many times okay so that questions also what are those questions and how to solve them i'll be discussing now okay so for uh, module four and module five pakka you have to do okay after that don't uh, stick to one module i'll tell you what all you, uh, you need to study from each module okay like if you know how to solve dfsm if you know how to uh, write a regular expression what is the definition of regular expression there are some questions which uh, if you solve like once or twice you'll uh, uh, get to know how to solve them okay those are the regular expression questions and from module 3 you can choose for like a pda if it's too much for you you can go for cfg also cfg is compulsory after cfg you can go with either uh, cnf cfg pd or ambiguity any one of these you can choose or this one this whole you study or pda you have to study okay so uh, this is how you will be uh, solving and uh, if you study these three topics from here dfsm regular expression cfg and from module uh, 4 and 5 I go with uh, both of these study all the topics in module 4 and 5 literally it's very easy so let's see what are the important questions in the first uh, topic which is dfsm first study dfsm compulsory if you know how to solve dfsm then you can have uh, this option here ndfsm to dfsm conversion or minimizing fsm okay most probably it might come in or okay so be pakka with any of these okay so let's see what are the important questions in dfsm in dfsm uh, firstly the definitions like what is an alphabet power of an alphabet that i have in the uh, i have the written the important definitions in the uh, reference video okay so go watch and uh, go watch that and learn the definitions and uh, these are the questions which are important i'll be providing the link for the solution of each of these in the description box okay after that uh, ndfsm to dfsm uh, this is one of the most repeated one this also I have explained uh, all the questions which I have mentioned here I will be providing the link in the description box so that you can watch the solution over that uh, another video okay so this is another uh, another question in NDFSM so the questions can be of two types they will either give you this graph or this table okay you need to know both okay if you are going with this problem know both if they give like this what to do if they give like this what to do okay the next one is minimizing FSM. Most of the questions are asked in minimizing uh, minimizing FSM in this form only. Okay. So that was about the module one. Coming to module two, uh, define regular expression. You need to know the uh, you need to know the definition and solve these five questions. Okay, these are the very important questions and repeated many times. After that, FSM to REC. After that, what is there is FSM to RE. And if you are just uh, looking for passing, uh, you can go with this. Okay. Either uh, study FSM to RE. Okay, any method or study re to fsm although 
this is more uh, repeated ones okay focus on this if you are going for like or option in between this and this go for more priority for this one okay any method you study like uh, heuristic to a standard or standard to here uh, means heuristic or standard method okay any of this method you study because what they give is in the question you'll have like or right here if you get the heuristic here you'll get the standard and both of the places you might get regular expression also question so if you study any of the method one method whichever method you are comfortable with you can go with that one okay and uh, coming to the last one you study either closure properties or pumping lemma in pumping lemma also three questions are uh, there only which are more uh, most repeated and in closure properties um, they are like a different uh, variations like for union concatenation we'll be discussing now what uh, what you have to do so basically what i'm trying to say is pakka uh, for uh, module 2 study for regular expressions and go with the or uh, prioritize more on this and go with closure property or pumping lemma any of these okay both are equally important so that was about module 2 let's see what are the questions in fsm to re so these are the questions uh, the questions will be like uh, use fsm to uh, regex heuristic if they give like this you have to solve using heuristic only so read uh, carefully the question the next one is standard know both of these methods how to solve solve one question only you will get to know uh, the technique okay and re to fsm just know the basics it's very very simple okay to solve like this okay if you are going for the or op, uh, means uh, either this one or re to fsm go for the top only i recommend you to uh, study the top only okay and uh, this is pretty simple if you know also it's uh, fine and uh, closure properties see the things are like uh, these are the most repeated ones union concatenation green star also intersection is there okay that's also repeated many times and uh, reversal okay this uh, this much you study union concatenation intersection and reversal okay these are the four most repeated ones okay and why i wrote clean size because these three come in combination like union concatenation or clean star if the other way they'll ask like uh, intersection or uh, intersection and reversal okay so if you study all five it's uh, the best thing you can do okay so uh, the next one is the pumping lemma you have to uh, write the proof of pumping lemma what is the theorem what is the proof after that these three questions are the most repeated ones okay if you study these three questions it's sufficient you can skip the top part okay means in case if or comes then only it will help you otherwise uh, i can't say anything okay and that was about the module 2 uh, and uh, coming to module 3 cfg pakka you study and you have an option for this one and this one okay cfg if you know pakka the uh, the or option might come uh, with this one or with this one okay so let's discuss what in the cfg first you need to know, uh, you need to know the definition see for definition and all we need to actually learn the definition okay we can't write from oneself we will we'll not get marks for that okay so cfg definition you uh, memorize and these five are uh, these four other questions most repeated ones okay so make sure you solve this and remember those uh, answers okay and cnf also if you're going for the next one cnf define cnf and these two are the most repeated ones okay this one is very very important uh, that was about the cnf and ambiguity just the definition you can easily remember and uh, the repeated ones are this one and this one okay in ambiguity and um, cfg to pda these two are the repeated ones and cfg to pda like uh, they are top down method and bottom up approach method and all but uh, i uh, recommend you to focus on these two questions okay like uh, using the normal method and pda pda these three are the most repeated ones if you are uh, solving pda define pda know the definition and uh, know the three things what do you have to do here what are the three things transition uh, diagram transition um, functions i guess yeah transition function and finally instantaneous descriptor okay and uh, turing machine these are the three uh, most repeated ones so make sure you solve them and uh, if you get time solve the other others as well because from there also it can be, it can be asked this is just for i have made for the passing purpose okay because in many papers the question which is like um, Turing machine for subtraction and multiplication that's also uh, much more repeated but this is a slight uh, uh, means uh, complex topic okay so make sure you solve this one and if you can solve solve this one also that will be the best okay after that the theories are there LBA is very important linear bounded automaton so make sure you solve that one and remember the things and uh, this already I discussed for module 5 okay.